Okay, here is the neighbors for 134 Moss Lane. It's got nice privacy trees on the side. This is the uh, front of the house. Looks like it's got a 30 year architectural shingle. Nice landscaping. Go up the steps here. Nice little front porch. It's got a uh, rock walk in. I actually showed this house as a foreclosure before these folks bought it. It might have even been the f folks before this, and it looks like they've done a fair amount of work to it. Real rock around the uh, fireplace. It's got a nice open out, cut out place in the wall for uh, make it a little bit more of an open floor plan. Granite throughout, uh, stainless appliances, real ceramic tile. Here's your laundry room. Nice little countertop here. You could put some benches under or some, uh, you know, some chairs. Uh, the HVAC system does sound like it's making a little bit of noise. But, you know, if we'll get that checked out during a home inspection. I mean, it's working okay, but it's just uh, making a little bit of racket. Um, it does have a creek running down through the back but it's high banks and whenever I had uh, looked this one up for the previous buyer I showed it to it was not a flood zone so um, That is our door going down to the basement, which I'll take you down to in just a minute. Once again, real ceramic tile, granite countertops, bedroom number one. New carpet throughout. Bedroom number two. And it's uh, got double pane windows. They're older, but the, uh, there's no, all the seals seem to still be good on. It doesn't look like any of them's broken and allowed moisture between the panes. It's got uh, pull down attic space. It's got a uh, linen closet. Here's your master. Overlooking the front yard. Here's your master closet. Here is your master bath. Once again, granite and uh, real ceramic tile. Just a standard shower tub combo. Okay. Now we will go down into the basement. Here is our basement. I, I remember it had that little open room over there. Um, here I guess could be your little workshop area. I was trying to find a light switch somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. I'm sure there's one here somewhere, just not seeing it for some reason. Um, 
two car garage and then uh, this is our in-law suite which they're using as a bedroom as well it's got its own entryway um, once again the same real ceramic tile that was upstairs so you could do maybe a kitchenette here I mean the only thing about it is you'd have to find some way to maybe do a uh, bathroom down here um, trying to think I, mean, I know that's probably duct work there and I'm trying to think of what's above mm -hmm. us there's maybe a bathroom over in this corner that hall bathroom so maybe maybe you could tap into that um, it's all sheetrock so it should be easy to work into but um, let's see, I would take you out that door but they've got it padlocked so I will open the garage door and that'll give us a little bit of light. Does it like they've done a little bit of concrete work since I've shown it last? Nice, good sized yard. It does also have storage under the house over there, but it's got a padlock on it, and I didn't see a um, key anywhere. And the, the little area down here is more of almost like a drainage ditch than anything else. But like I said, it never been a, it's never been a flood zone or anything. And the property does go back into the woods a little ways. For what I remember, there was a trail going down into the woods that I guess kids have been using. Um, and this is it, 134 Moss Lane. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you.